So this year in 2023, we don't have an idea if there's going to be a new game announced or released at the end of the year for Pokemon. We know that there's going to be a DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which is cool, it's better than nothing. But since there hasn't been any announcements, fans have just begun speculating what will happen. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So since we don't really have any official announcements or official dates for a game to be released this year, a big conversation has been black and white remakes. Black and white remakes are right around the corner, I mean maybe, who knows, they might not do a remake, but they're probably going to. A lot of fans do not want black and white remakes, but I'll get into that a little bit later. They just released Diamond and Pearl remakes two or three years ago, so the next remakes are probably within the next two or three years, so really not too far away at this point. But since a lot of people don't really want black and white remakes, people have been talking about another Legends Arceus style game, or Pokemon Legends for example. First of all, I thought Pokemon Legends Arceus was great. I loved where they went, the direction they took with that game. I thought it was so fun. It was really unique. It was definitely a really fun game, so I would definitely be down if they were to release another Pokemon Legends game. And the game that people want is Pokemon Legends Kiram or Kyram, however you guys say it. I don't really know how I say it. I kind of just say it differently every time. I mean, there are a few other Legends games that people have been like speculating or just kind of coming up with, making fan trailers and stories about, like Legends uh, Celebi and stuff is another popular one, which maybe I'll talk about in the future. So it would be based off of the Unova region in Pokemon and give us a lot of more lore and story behind Gen 5. The Unova region already has so much lore and mystery to it, so I personally think it would be great to have a Legends Kiram game where we get just like a whole backstory on the entire thing, like maybe in the beginning of the Unova region where they're kind of first settling there and building, you know, the first few houses and stuff before it became like a city and everything. I mean, I don't know if Nintendo, Pokemon, whatever would actually make another Legends game, I kind of hope they do because, you know, like they made a few Pokemon Ranger games, like that was another popular spinoff back in the day. So I kind of hope that they do more installments to like the Legends stuff. People don't really want black and white remakes because they didn't really like the Diamond and Pearl remakes all that much. I mean, I thought they were fun, but like, you know, they weren't amazing. They weren't great, but they could definitely do some great remakes. I made a video about a possibility of the black and white remakes. Check that out. I explained like why I think it would be kind of cool to have black and white remakes. I'm always down for it. I think it would be great. And if they fail, then I guess it's not terrible because we still have black and white. You can still go back and play it. But I know it would be awesome if we got some really good black and white remakes and they didn't, you know, take away anything from that storyline or they didn't change it up or because of that reason, because people don't want black and white remakes, they kind of want a spinoff because Gen 5 is really cool. You know, the Unova region is really cool and they want to go into that region again but not with another remake, or they also want Black and White 3, which would be really cool. I don't think that there is a third installment to any Pokemon game. I think it's just two. I'm pretty sure it's just Black and White 2, and then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, I think it'd be kind of crazy and cool if they did a Black and White 3, but I don't know what they would add onto the story. I don't know what they would do. Anyways, that's another topic, Black and White 3. But the coolest part about a Legends Kiram game is the whole mystery behind the original dragon like it'd be so cool to see or get a glimpse of the original dragon Before it split into Zekrom, Rushorum, and Kiram. We really haven't ever seen the original dragon Which is crazy and I'm pretty sure that would be a selling point for so many fans Imagine at the beginning of Legends Kiram or whatever We get a glimpse or a tease of what the original dragon looked like in the past or whatever We get like a flashback something that gives us uh, like an image in our head of what the dragon looks like and then we play through the game we learn about the dragon learn about the Unova region whatever go to different like uh, areas where people are settling down finding places to build houses learning about different Pokemon catching different Pokemon and stuff and at the very end of the game we find the dragon we help him out or something do something cool with the story where we can become friends with him and catch him or whatever or let him go off into wherever he goes you know it's a huge mystery it's pretty cool because this is like a Pokemon that exists, but like we don't know what it is. We don't really know what it looks like. There's just so much mystery and lore behind the Unova region and Gen 5. It's also cool because Black and White and Black and White 2 are amazing Pokemon games, and they're definitely some fan favorites. It'd be kind of interesting to see more about like the Twin Heroes, which appeared a lot in the Pokemon anime, but not really in the games. Online, actually on YouTube, people made videos about like whole storylines and just a whole explanation of what a possible Unova region legends Kiram game 
could be, which I think it's really interesting. Just look it up. You should watch them. They're really entertaining and interesting videos to watch. I loved Unova Region. I thought it was really fun. I think a lot of people didn't like it at first, and then people came back to the game years later and was like, wow, this is like a really good region. Like, imagine the beginning of the Legends Kirib game. Unova Region would just be blank. Like, there's not much there. Like, people just discovered it. There's, there's a few, like, little towns or civilizations, but, like, there's no big city yet, and there's not a bunch of towns yet. It's just kind of small still. It's newly discovered. A lot of nature and stuff. Because Legends Arceus was, like, all nature, which was really cool, actually. Like, the only, like, town was, like, the main town, which I thought was really cool. I, I would definitely replay Legends Arceus again. I actually haven't, like, officially beat it. I, I beat, like, the main storyline, but I can't beat Giratina at the end. It's it's such a difficult battle, and I, I'm too lazy to just rank up my Pokemon. I kind of want to grind that, though. I, I'd like to beat Giratina at the very end. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about a possible Legends Kiram game with the Unova region. I personally would be all for it. I think it would be really cool to discover and explore something like that and learn about the lore behind the original dragon, which I don't even know what it would be called. I don't know if there's actually an official name. If there is, let me know. I, I just don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.